Manhattan as a grid, you sort of have a decision at any corner to go left or right. But here you get up there and you just walk, so there's this kind of incredible meditative quality to moving on it. The whole Highland itself is like an art piece, and it's a very successful one. I mean, it's really a, an experimentation and transformation of public urban space. And even though they totally re-landscaped it, it still has that quality of a sort of secret location that nature has taken over, and this amazing way that urban nature can actually survive and flourish with, with this incredible concrete jungle around it. I'm Sarah Z. I'm an artist. I make primarily sculpture. So I was asked to do a commission for the High Line in 2011, and we installed it there in June 2011. The challenge was, does the High Line need art, and how do you add to a location that has such a strong presence already? The idea I came up with was this idea of framing the other part of urban nature that was there that I didn't feel like had been framed, which is this incredible plethora of birds and butterflies and bees that all actually live there. It was really an experiment in trying to create an urban habitat. So in the piece, there are these locations for water, for food, for housing, for birds and butterflies and bees. And the birds uh, actually flock there if you put out uh, food, even though you're about a foot away as a viewer. It became a location where you'd really observe them. One of the things I'm really interested in is how do you get someone to be completely immersed in, in an artwork without them sort of consciously walking over a line into like an installation. Everyone on the High Line has to walk through the piece. You're, you have to physically engage with it. I don't think people even consciously realize why it's so engaging is that you actually move through it and you see it from afar, you walk up to it, you're in it, even though you don't realize you're in it, and then you move out. 